It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2004, recorded Thursday, September 5th, 2024. Positively puzzling! On this episode of the Gizwiz, I have a brand new Crappy Corner theme. We get to find out what the heck was it and see the brand new what the heck is it and can Charlie, Dick and Dennis's dog, figure out a puzzle? All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now, and here is our puzzle master, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir, and you? I'm doing great, doing very good myself. Oh my God, I'm seeing in chat. Giz one says it is 110 degrees now in Southern California. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. Pretty toasty. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That is absolutely yeah. crazy. It's been yeah. raining. We we're talking just before it's been raining over here. Summer has gone away in the north for you. Seasons are a changed. little bit. Yeah. It's not fall exactly yet. But, oh, and speaking of, like, fall, I spotted a red, a red tail hawk fledgling taking is, a bath in a puddle. This is absolutely crazy. Um, you have this image. This was in Central Park? Where was this? No, no, in Riverside Park. What? Oh, whoops. Oh, I don't River have the image. Uh, one second. Let me get it up. Okay. Um, there we are. Oh my God, Palm Springs, 113. <laughs> are we having a heat wave? Here it is, look yeah. at that, in a little puddle. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I thought it was a drain and I thought, oh my God, has he got his claw stuck in the drain? <laughs> I didn't want to get too close. Um, and then I saw him splashing around and I said, oh, he's just taking a bath in a puddle. <laughs> That is adorable. I will say one thing that I, has floored me moving to Florida, Central Florida, is the amount of um, wildlife that I see constantly. Uh, Alligators? Absolutely. I oh, really? Oh, oh, are you serious? I see. see I've seen hundreds of alligators Ow, in my neighborhood. Now, down the street, I need the yeah, absolutely. There's, if there's water, there's an alligator in it. So I oh, didn't realize this about alligators. Alligators have a season. They have a spawning season. Um, it's actually, I think I have memory serves, it's more in the spring. And they come out of the water. I didn't realize they stay under the water a ton of time. Like for, And so you don't see them that often. But during that season, they are on the shore. They're all over the place. They're walking through the streets. They're all over the place. It's insane. Alligators, absolutely. Uh, but I've seen... Otters, there's an otter that went oh. to a, a river otter. I've seen bald eagles. I've seen plenty of hawks. Um, I've seen coyotes. Um, I've seen, I mean, all sorts of birds. I mean, the amount of birds are like, there's these cranes that are all around here, all the, oh, all the yeah. place. Flamingos, They're, you have any of those? I had saw, yes, flamingos. Now I've only seen that like once where I was pretty sure that it was a wild flamingo, you know? Uh, yeah. but yeah, the only wild flamingos like once, um, but yeah, I mean, it is just absolutely insane with the amount of wildlife that, because in Dallas, you know, I could see a coyote. I've seen some coyotes, plenty yeah. of deer, um, you know, you see some wildlife. The wildlife in Florida is like, <laughs> it's like the stuff you see in magazines, you know, it's not like the normal, it's like, that looks dangerous. Um, manatees are very, uh, another thing that's like, you know, on the endangered species list that are around. And yeah. I saw one of those, um, well, crossing over a bridge and you can see it, uh, really Yeah, they're clearly. big. Massive. I mean, they're like yeah. hippos that have no legs. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're exactly. humongous. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
That's, uh, you, that is awesome to catch that in uh, right next to you. I mean, it was just the yeah. No, I, I was I looked up online. It said that there's a pair of uh, red hawk red hawks that live in Riverside Park, about 110th Street. And that in June, they gave birth to several fledglings. And I guess this is one of them because he's on the big side and he <sighs> he can fly. So I guess he's testing out his, he's traveled like 20 blocks. I guess yeah. he figures. Now that's something you parents. don't get in Florida. Nobody cares. Like the fact that there were witnesses, they knew that this was the fledgling from the parents down the street. Oh. <laughs> now that does yeah. not exist. <laughs> That is cool. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, anything else that happened this last week? Uh, boy, outside of that, nothing uh, thrilling. I will say I'm repping the Kansas City uh, Super Bowl merch. Uh, it is kickoff day for uh, the NFL. Uh, football season, NFL football season is now upon us uh, today. And my team, which has Travis Kelsey... Taylor Swift's main man. Oh, oh my God! Okay. Is starting. Yeah, you're like I don't understand this. <laughs> you can tell you're like I don't. Even, Chad has never talked about sports once. So what? How does this make any sense? Travis Kelsey is uh, is uh, part of the part of the team that's uh, uh, in, uh, starting the whole season off. You know, he's part of the Kansas City Chiefs, and they're playing the uh, Baltimore Ravens uh, today. So in oh, okay. uh, in like an hour and a half. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to the game, right? No, no, no. It'll be in Kansas City. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why the football. And I got the, it. And, and, and Taylor Swift shows up for a lot of the games. Right? Yeah, she's, she'll be at this one. Um, oh, okay. uh, New York Times reported. Uh, yeah, and and in fact, uh, there was a, there was a reporting today about this, and I found it so fascinating that the stadium the uh um, arrowhead stadium that the kansas city chiefs is in has a fantastic relationship with her apparently and they never even show her on the main screen in the stadium they try to like do all these things and just be like she's just like a normal person just attending a game they don't they don't promote her in oh, the stadium I, I didn't realize it makes sense like you you know she's talking to the security and like whoever owns the building or whatever to get in and and they're just really nice to her and they don't try to like uh, over promote her, which I think is interesting. Yeah. Also, you don't want uh, fifty thousand people running down to where she is. Absolutely. This is a yeah. it's a security uh, nightmare. <laughs> the <laughs> yes. pop icon show up at your uh, your stadium. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's the explanation for. Oh, okay, the okay. It's a nice shirt. I like. Thank it. you, thank you. Like well, let's jump. Let's forget the uh, football. Okay, and let's some let's take a look at this puzzlement. Here we go. Well, our dog Charlie has been on a diet for like eight months. Okay, the vet said it would be great if he could lose two, even three pounds. So he has lost two pounds, but he knows he's on a diet. <laughs> And he goes crazy. When he put food out, he gobbles it down and he starts barking. He wants more food. Uh, this worked out well. Okay. We did this a couple of years ago. The slow feeder is you can't just run around the plate and eat it. But I wanted something else. And I thought a dog puzzle. Okay. So I bought one. Uh, it's 5,000 pieces and it's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dog puzzle, uh, uh, toys. All right. Now I'm opening it with you. Oh, it's a dog. There's no instructions. You figure if the dog doesn't know how to do it. All right. I guess you just put. <laughs> if the dog can't read, they're out of yeah. luck. Food. I hope Tony knows how to do it because I'm baffled with some of these things. Um, quite sure what the little. <laughs> That's just a red herring. What? Surprise. So, yeah. so you throw them off. You know what? We're going to try it. We think <laughs> Charlie's actually going to be afraid of it. Okay. So he is we classically are afraid of new new things. Some chicken. Yes. Yes. We had. Uh, Chicken at a Chinese restaurant. So let's 
All right, let's put chicken in there. Uh, let's put... It's actually I tricky think. to do. I don't see how they figure... It's a maybe human a puzzle, too. <laughs> I'm going to put some... It really, it really is. It's like a dex it's, it's dexterous a puzzle. Something in yes. Cheese. God, Charlie loves cheese. Some cheese. We figured we're going to uh, load it down to make him no matter and, what. Um, not resist. Thinking, yeah, give him the good stuff. If you yeah. have Keep the interest high. Company. <laughs> And they're boring. Seems to Rachel said her dog <laughs> only snack. eats food snack. that's in a puzzle. And they'll say, where's the snack? And they'll say, well, guess. You have to guess. Everything oh. is set, all right? We show a lot of food is exposed, <laughs> only because we don't even know how to get the doors to close over some of the food. Uh, so maybe Charlie will be smarter about this, all right? Uh, we're going to put it here. I know he'll go to it because of all the exposed food. Uh, but will he uncover the food that is covered? If Contestant number one dun, dun, is dun, moving dun, dun. into the game board. Well, the, the tail is a wagon. We'll see. Well, we have somebody who's kind of interested. No, no, no. Right, nom. Okay. Oh, he's taking it out. Oh, he took it away. <laughs> he is yeah. scared of it. Oh, You're right. That's a good move. Now let's yeah, go I don't back. want to eat it in that plastic okay, thing. Um, let's see if he's pushing anything. So, so far, he's sort of just eating stuff that's exposed. He, I, uh, oh, he pushed the cheese. Okay. And then finally... He's got, oh, okay. Oh, his oh yeah, tail, yeah. look at this. He said, oh, boy, this is pretty exciting stuff. And this is pretty good. It, it is oh, staying boy. in place. Oh, you can tell he is thinking Why about it. He, he, he pushed oh. it. <laughs> it scared him. He scared himself. Uh, but he did push that over, but he didn't scare Oh, him. he pushed that oh, one, wow. too. Wow, a motivated Charlie, dog. The yes, and now he's pushing that one. I want one. to give you your diploma. <laughs> All right, um, dog puzzle toys, and actually, normally he would have eaten that those snacks in ten seconds, and he's still going at it. So this is this is a big hit, and the tail he's liking this too. Yeah, as someone in the chat room sub named him Sir Wags a lot. That <laughs> is definitely Sir Wags a lot. That is great. I mean, yeah. that really, really, uh, for a dog that I have seen be scared of a lot of new things. Yeah. I think the food motivation worked because that pushing and knocking and that uh, it seems great. Yeah, seems but the thing good. is, all right, so it's, it's cheap. Yeah. 11, I don't know, it says limited time deal, 1129. But Chad, go down that, yeah, the line you're in to the more complicated puzzles. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Um, oh, no, I, I, I think I think you were go back up again. Oh. I think if you just keep clicking. Oh, oh where did I see it? I, I they were go up to the price. And oh, up here, up here, up here. These ones. Yeah, like I can also check out their store. See if they that have. that's uh, maybe that's where I saw it. Oh, look at the wow. look at this. Look at that. It was it. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> this looks like one of those puzzles that you do to like slide. That looks, looks like a slide puzzle to like make it slide in and it makes the Mona Lisa. Yes. You know, like that looks like complicated stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. Scooter X found it for $2.68. No way. Look at that one. That looks like something Pat Sajak This would is have. actually the same thing you had for two dollars. It is the same. Eight cents. What? It is the <clears throat> same. Scooter X found it. He did it. Yes, exactly the same. 
Oh, but what? how much would you pay see? now? <laughs> 181. Oh, I can't believe it. It'll be delivered in 10 days. <laughs> 14-ish days, I guess. Um, that is crazy. Uh, Boy, that is a good fun. That is that is a good deal. Yeah. A buck 81. Is yeah. it free shipping? Yeah. And free shipping. Yeah. At that price, you should buy a hundred of them and just start selling them on the corner uh, near uh, Times Square. You know, ten dollars yeah. each. There you go. That's pretty good. I have Charlie autographed them. Two dollars for that thing <laughs> is absurd. Isn't that a riot? It I is. thought, gee, eleven dollars. That wasn't bad. But now I'm thinking, wow. Yeah, what a ripoff. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing uh it's scooter x that you found it for that cheap um i like this i i'm really uh shocked that charlie took to it so quickly and that he figured it out so quickly honestly yeah no Which well is you know food food drives dogs it does magical things yes yeah like you <laughs> i see a lot of people who have dogs that might balk at another dog they just carry a little bag of treats with them. And as soon as another dog starts approaching, I see them like sneak a treat to the dog. And then the dog says, I'd rather eat than bark at another dog. And it <laughs> exactly. seems to work. That's what I try to do is every time I see something that's going to be a bad habit, I'll just eat a little bit of something. You know? <laughs> I'm just feeding myself. And that uh, keeps me on the straight and narrow, typically. Uh, yeah. It makes me not form any bad habits. Uh, the, only, the only thing I'm I'm worried is uh, I'm looking at the Amazon thing and it says food set made of food safe PP material. <laughs> now, now what? PP material. I think you shouldn't put have that for a dog thing. Food safe PP material. Yeah, we make all of our plastic out of PP. <laughs> yeah. We are the leading PP plastic yeah. manufacturer. Oh well, that's good recycling. Yeah, but it is food safe PP. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, Oh, polypropylene, says oh, Del Paco. Oh, oh, thank you, Dale. This is why thank we need you. a chat room, because they're way smarter than yes. us. <laughs> polypropylene makes like, a lot more sense than PP. Yeah. Um, that's great. $11, honestly, you know, sometimes, I, who wants to deal with AliExpress? You know, who? I don't know where... Who, that my address may uh, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe you don't want to give your information to AliExpress. But still, 11 bucks from Amazon... It's a pretty good deal. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next gadget. Um, okay, we're going on to a... Well, here you see. You'll oh. see. Hey, right hey, what is Time it? Time for... Yes. What the heck is it? Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Um, a ah. bin for storing vegetables. A bin? Oh, my gosh. Definitely looks like Wrong. a bin. This but what is, is it for? Who knew there was such a thing? This is the socket box. Huh? Connections made <gasps> simple. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's very funny because when I was looking for this, past couple of weeks we've had some tremendous storms. And I have a lot of lights in the backyard. And I have all weatherproof three-prong plugs and stuff. But I thought maybe there's even something more uh, to protect wires out there. And I read about the socket box. And I was looking at it. I said, wow, some of them have like 10 outlets. Some of them have 10 outlets and USB charging ports. And, and then I thought, there's not one word in the description about what's in the box. And then I realized there is nothing in the box. Uh, it is the 30 box. bucks <laughs> and it is empty. All right. So here is the object. The reason you see uh, uh, in, in the various pictures different things in the box, it's the way people are using it. So what you do is in the box you put in whatever you need, all right? And so, for example, if you're going to use a big extension cord like this, it goes in the box. There's a room in here for your timers. And here 
These are squishy, okay? And this is where the big wires go through. Now you get five... It's interesting. <laughs> you only get four clips, but it says for extra security... Put these if the wire is a little place. smaller, you can use the clip to, to fill up the hole. To make it even more waterproof. So you would sit that like that. Then the cover goes on. Um, um, um. I'm not sure if there's a right and wrong for the cover. Once the cover is on, you lift up these guys and uh, 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 go all the way down. Lock that. And then there's another locking uh, latch at this wow. end, and you're set to go. Now, in the instructions, did I leave the instructions in here? I did. There's some fun things. It uh, doesn't work underwater. I wonder why. <laughs> I like it said underwater. Underwater. Also, I like it says, it's not a summary. Um, if wires are sparking, do not touch them. I mean, it's like the 4th of July. I want to touch them. No, you're not going to want to touch them. Um, all right, so there are three versions and three colors, and it did very, very well. So over on Amazon, more than 15,000 reviews, 4.6 stars, and it comes in large, small, and medium. Small is just uh, like $19. Medium is $23. And the large one that I have is 30 bucks. But I think this is really a secure way to keep wires dry. And there's room in there for your timer, uh, anything. Oh, yeah, I, I love it. it. says, this is not for a permanent installation. Well, I think once you do it, you're going to leave it out there. But I guess they mean don't cement it in place. Uh, I like this a lot. Okay, socket box. Socket to me, baby. <laughs> I agree. I love this. Laughing. <laughs> I said to Dennis, I, I bet you Chad's going to like this. I love <laughs> this thing. I had no idea it existed. Um, I don't have a yard anymore, but if I oh, did. Oh, you don't. I don't. No, I'm in the apartment now. But this is uh, something I have to keep in mind because uh, or something's going to come up. I'm going to need this type of thing because uh, I love it. I mean, I just absolutely yeah. think this is perfect. Now, Dennis made an interesting uh, uh, observation. The wires only come out in one direction. Oh, yeah. So if you have it like in the middle of the yard or something and wires go every way, True. you have to route them out the one side. This little but, one is here. Wait, wait, the small one that you showed was so funny. Yeah, that's it's so itty bitty. It's kind of ridiculous almost, isn't it? <laughs> Just, a tiny just put box. A, just just lay a bag, a plastic bag over it. Right. Yeah. But the <laughs> the medium and the bigger one seem to be. There's a lot of room in there for the timer and whatever else. You yeah. Have. Exactly. I re I really like this because there's so many times you you, you have a power strip uh, that you really do got to just use outside and. Uh, you oh don't wait a minute! Scooter X found one with side exits. Ah. Oh. And then uh, what I liked about it was it seemed insanely secure, too. Like, it just yeah. seemed, like, absolutely... Yeah, that cover is not going to blow off. Not or... at all. Okay, here's yeah. what Scooter X found. Only 12 bucks uh, for Scooter X's. And then it does have exits out two sides. Oh, okay. So one, two, and three. You know what? It looks like it doesn't have that those big mushy rubber things, though. It, yeah, I think that first one well, might maybe be. Maybe it does. It, maybe it does. But but it's not as. It looks like it uses a different technique to keep the water out yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It has something, but not the same. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, look at this! They're suggesting you put it on the wall. Oh, okay. That's kind of a cool little addition um and i guess you could have it come out th that's neat that's very neat yeah this is one so just one of those gadgets i didn't know existed i had covered one that was uh, uh a similar um thing but it was it was just like that small one extension cord. oh yes i know that thing it's and like, and uh, not the yes. same yeah 
Yeah. If, for, if you want to use a power strip, uh, this is the first time I've seen a gadget like this. So that's, that's, uh, that's really, really cool. Um, and, you know, it looks like that Rubbermaid type of stuff, which looks uh, pretty good. Uh, okay, uh, let's move on to the next um, gadget. Okay, and uh, a, fun, a fun little cheap gadget. Gizwiz does buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, but not exclusively. I get a lot of emails, a lot of emails from other companies. For example, Pulse TV. And when I got the ad for this, I thought, you know, this looks kind of nice. Two-pack, vintage Edison-style, rechargeable, clip-on light bulbs. Two oh. for $9.99. I think postage was four bucks or so. All right. And there they are. <laughs> In those unbelievably hard to open packages. But like Chad, I have a zip no. snap. All right. These are great. Those are great. It's I'm not sure I cut far enough in on this, but we'll see. Um... Oh, I did. Oh, okay. This is nice. Right. There's the bulb. And USB-C charging cable, which is now on the floor. Hang on a minute. In the video, they go, uh, oh. All right, so this is good. All right. All right, so a little switch. Wow, okay. Pretty bright. 300 lumens. That's bright. Medium, low, little carabiner hook. Okay, so that's pretty neat. And according to Paul's TV, waterproof. Uh, uh, um. oh, I it said weatherproof. I didn't yeah, read I that. <laughs> um. Oh, you know what? It's filled with water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, hurt yourself, Diggy D. In a case like that, <laughs> does the bulb actually unscrew? You know what? <laughs> That's really funny. Well, you know, the thing is, the you can't get a shock, right? No, I, I don't. If it's just oh. battery. Yeah. yeah. All right. In the rain. In the rain. I'll give you a tiny one. It's not going to be yeah. lethal. Yeah, it's not like interesting. AC. Pulse yeah. TV said on low eight hours. The company on their package says high power four hours, so I guess we can assume mid power is six hours. And let's see what the cable is. Is it a tiny little one or a decent cable? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> tiny is it's the okay. answer. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Like USB C yeah. to USB A. Looks like it's probably four or five inches long. But I do like, I, you know, I do like these. Boing, boing. I wouldn't drive nails with it, no. but if it falls <laughs> down, you don't have uh, any worry at all. A couple of nice little features on this light is the rubberized on-off brightness switch. Okay, so the three brightnesses and then off. And then a little rubberized cover for USB-C charging. And there's a little LED light. It'll light up red when it's charging. And that light will turn green when it's fully charged. Since it's said to be unbreakable, <laughs> we'll end it with uh, dropping it. Oh, it it worked. It stayed on. The drop test worked. Statue of Liberty. <laughs> She's always dropping her. Drop. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, I think great. it makes a nice little a nice little gift there. Two for ten dollars and shipping was four ninety nine. Yeah, if you don't have it, have an option yet. I think that this is a, a great little little addition. Two of them, you get two. Yeah. And I like that USB C charging. I am. Yeah. I'm yeah. over. And, and they're, they're pretty. They're pretty sturdy too. That's good. You. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, okay, and with that, shall we jump into the, oh. the corner? The crappiness? Yeah, yes, find out what the new uh the new theme, theme is. And I have an I have breaking news for you too. So oh, let's head okay. to you, know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crap 
Happy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. Well, it's a new month, so it is a new theme, and we asked the patrons what the theme should be. So last month, we had an issue where it, I thought it was going to be hot dog gadgets. I, we had a snafu. I, the first week, I forget which, what the ga gadgets were, but uh, I, got, I thought it was going to be one thing. By the time we looked at the poll, it was another. I thought the same thing was going to happen, but in the in breaking news is it actually flipped back to what I thought it had been uh, since the show was started. So, here are the options. Hot dog gadgets returning again. That one was a highly okay. voted on uh, last month. Um, so, any, anything to do with a hot dog, how to prep them, how to cook them, how to serve them. As seen on TV gadgets, pretty self-explanatory. It needs to have that as seen on TV logo somewhere on the package. Yeah. And then thrift shop gadgets. So, I have to find a gadget in a Goodwill or, or similar thrift store. Um, and hopefully it'll work. Maybe we'll find yeah. something. And so, out of those categories, Boy. what do you think? I'm gonna go. But you know they're all they're all kind of interesting, actually. Thrift shop, you never know what you're gonna never. find. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say thrift shop one. Okay, okay. Well, the results just came in. Thrift shop is in third. I'm sorry, with 24 percent of the vote. Oh, okay. Hot okay. dog gadgets are in second. And oh which makes God. As Seen on TV Gadgets the winner with 39% of the vote. I think that it's one vote is separating these two categories because Hot Dog Gadgets has 37%. Oh, okay. So okay. Uh, As Seen on TV is the winner, which is what I thought the winner was, you know, a few hours ago when I went out and bought a gadget. Uh, so, still, good news is As Seen on TV. It will be the category for the month. Okay, okay. I recorded a video earlier, so let's check it out. Hey diggity, so here we are with the first of our Assing on TV gadgets, and here is our first gadget. Ruby Holding Hands. It has the As Seen on TV logo Ooh, in the bottom wow. corner. That is important to me, that is basically the only <laughs> identifier that I have that it says seen on TV because almost anything can claim that it has been seen on TV. <laughs> uh, on the back of the Ruby Holding Hands, it kind of uh, explains uh, what it's all about. This is a cable organization gadget. And instead of using any other fastener, they use magnets between these little hands here, and that should hold your cables together. Now, if you saw the studio tour, you know I have a lot of cables. I have a ton of yeah, cables. But so I neat. grabbed a few cables and I'm constantly trying to organize my cables. I have found that Velcro is uh, the best for me, but it has its issues. Here's an example. Uh, this little Velcro guy, I don't know what happened to him, but he has picked up a pom-poms worth of extra little bits. So maybe the silicone helping Ruby uh, holding hands uh, will help me in my predicament. Ah, yeah. Yeah, there it open. is. Here it is. I'll be right back. Of the packaging, <laughs> I find it really funny that the way that they're holding this onto this board here is with a strip of metal, which is kind of funny. Oh, how cool! So let's take a look at some of these hands. Here they are, and when they get close, they clap together. It is thumb to thumb. I guess that kind of shows... Uh, the polarity of the magnets uh, below, but so they'll clap together and hopefully keep the magnets, uh, oh, sorry, keep the wires uh, together. Now, just from holding them, they seem to break apart quite quickly. Um, another thing they mentioned was when, so let's grab a wire and let's kind of start here. Um, as we are organizing a wire, we don't want to pull too hard on the palms of these hands because apparently this is a weak point, and so they could damage them. So uh, that is one thing that was mentioned in the instructions, is that you should really try to uh, grab it kind of more from the wire, uh, the silicone part of this. So to wrap these up, I would get my cables together like normal, grab a hand. They suggest instead of holding it by the hand, hold it by the wire once again, and then wrap, wrap. Oh, okay. And uh, then clap. 
There you go. Look at those. Organized cables. Look at those organized babies. Okay. So that's on those. I would I would want to wrap this one more time. This is this seems way too loose. Let, let, let me try this actually. I'm I'm maybe giving this let me really wrap it. I'm gonna give it some some stretch. We're gonna instead, I don't know how many times we went around the first time, but this time we're going around that many times. There we go. Clap together, you darn hands. Darn it, I didn't do it right. Okay, here we go. Clap, clap, clap. There we go. Now they're clapped together. Okay, that is actually a much better yeah. version uh, of that. Okay, well, I have a whole bunch of different ones. I kind of wanted to try them all out, but I think it's going to take too long on camera. So I'll be right back and give you my results. Okay, so I've used a few of my ruby red silicon hands. Uh, this is probably the best one I was able to do after fiddling with it, as you saw. Uh, these other ones I didn't spend quite as much time. This one, a very short cable, quite difficult. Uh, this is like a typical cable. This one was very annoying to try to work with. As you can see, the cable is just really thin. The things keep connecting. I find this really annoying. Oh, yeah. One thing they mentioned in the instructions is that if you have a really long cable, you could connect two of these together. So I was kind of testing that with this by wrapping it in a really stupid way. Um, I just really hate them. I'll, honestly, I'll give you my review <laughs> right now. I hate them so much. Uh, the Velcro solution that I have is way better than this. Um, they, like even with this, you can just see, like this is just so crummy. It doesn't really hold very well. I don't think it's great at all. These ended up costing, they had a price tag of $9.99. Um, I bought this at Walgreens. They have a small uh, as seen on TV section. That is absurd, okay? There's eight of these. That means that it's more than a dollar each for one of these little ruby hand things. I was lucky that it was actually on sale, so I only got it for $5. Uh, it was 50% uh, off. But still, 50 cents for one of these, where the Velcro I've been using, I believe, is much cheaper and much more useful. So, pretty crappy. <laughs> That's the review of the Ruby okay. Helping Hands. Uh, so, uh, see what Sims for Rachel said. I buy these. Yeah, I wanted to check that out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they didn't look like they... No. They looked... Oh, and these look these good too. I, I see, like, I, there might be a tiny chance that if you have a very specific set of cables, something like this will work. Like, if you're always working. Oh, with... I, yeah, yes, but the Velcro, you can just cut the side. Exactly. So, I think I maybe I have a unique situation where not all my cables are like six foot cables. Like, I have hundred foot cables sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. And so, if you're if you're more typical and you have more typical cables, sure. But I hated this solution. Um, and, and this looks, uh, what seems to Rachel, Rachel uh, sent over, it looks a lot better, honestly. Um, now, this is a 12-pack. The one that I had was an 8-pack, and it caught, it's MSRP was 10, and I got it on sale for 5. Um, and then this is a 12-pack, and it's still, it's pretty expensive. Well, that's $15. Yeah, it's like, it's uh, over like, yeah, a dollar. Like more than a buck. Yeah, more than a buck. Mm. Um... And then here, let me find uh, the um, Ruby Hands um, <clears throat> online. I actually forgot to do that. Um, what's nice, now what I typically use is where I find uh, the Velcro is Walmart sells a, uh, a Velcro strip that's basically made for like uh, craft material. And I like it because it is, um, you know, you can loop it just like any of this other stuff. And it's pretty inexpensive, um, and it, and you know one side is tough and one side is is the uh, soft side, and that has been um, working out great. Uh, and I actually forgot to uh, find these guys online, but I remember it was Bubblehead was the brand. So here oh, they are. They may, yeah. On. Uh, uh, online. So if you want to get them directly from them, once again, eight pack for, t uh, for 10, which is what the MSRP that I saw, um, as well. If you want the, these guys, there you go. It looks like they've changed the design compared to the ones I have. These uh, look way yeah, more they, square. They do look more square. Oh, weird. Mine look like rounded. 
Yeah, these look like they might have a bigger magnet in them. <laughs> ah. See, this, is, this looks like the absolute worst. No, I would never want to put my yoga mat helping. The, I, no, absolutely not. Anyway, that's my review. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse for fun. All right, so one of our chat room regulars, Mad Frank, has sent in a video with a note. Hi, Dick and Chad. I did a silly review of the shower speaker. <laughs> I figure if you're going to review something like that, you should be in the shower. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did a review over a month ago in chat, but I'm lazy, and so he did it in no. the shower. No way! What is so this here, video that we're about to watch? Okay, Ned Frank's video. Review. Oh my gosh! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed in there. Let me turn this off. <laughs> Why do you have to get down That's like that? better. Oh, yeah, it's probably better. Hey, Dickie D. Hey, Chad. <laughs> hey, you guys. It's Mad Frank, aka Frank Schneider, aka Sticks McFly, aka DB Cooper, coming to you with another gadget review. As you know, I'm always in search of the cheapest Bluetooth speaker I can find, and this is no exception. This is the. <laughs> The splash stick speaker. The shampoo is still TV, in his hair. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty basic. It just <laughs> plays music from your phone and then uh, stream music to it on Bluetooth. I got it for about uh, $5.50 or something. Let me turn it on for you. Four ninety-seven. I don't know if you heard that. I love the commitment to the and, in the uh, shower. This is so funny. Flashing LEDs. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's music playing, they always play like the same sort of random pattern. It's pretty basic, it just has play and pause. Uh, next track, previous track, and if you hold those down, that's the volume buttons. Not my favorite, I like to have separate volume buttons. It has a phone answer button, so, you know, if your phone rings, you can actually take the call. There is a Which tiny, is a really funny thought uh, in itself. Microphone Taking the call in so the shower. You can actually hear you speak, you don't have to have the phone near you and you can just hang up when you're done and you're back to the music. Uh, it takes two hours from, uh, go from zero charge to 100% and you get four hours of charge time with that. The reason I like it is uh, it does have a pretty decent frequency range. Paul Simon's Graceland was the first album I played on here and uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty good. I'm not saying everyone has to listen to Paul Simon on this device, but you can either listen to America's Greatest Songwriter or you can listen to crap. It's got a uh, USB port here on the top, which is closed. You know, it's got this cover, of course, uh, so no uh, water gets in. That's where you plug in the cable to USB to charge it. And uh, that's about it. It's a pretty handy little shower speaker. I do recommend having it away from the shower head. I've been testing it here for two weeks, though, and it's been just fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it too much, however, in the words of Robert Palmer, <laughs> I didn't mean to turn you on. Anyway, have a good day. <laughs> well, I took your life. I knew what you oh were Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is, uh, that is funny. That is, oh no, I missed the text, whatever oh, the text is. I cut away too fast. I, I just said, oh, could we hear what it sounds like? <laughs> oh, is that so what, he, oh. Is that yeah, what, so he added a quickie. Here, let me, uh, uh, because I can't go back on uh, what I was playing, I can uh, do this. Uh, here it is, um, what it sounds like. Uh-uh-uh. Woo! 
Okay. There you go. It sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. No, we didn't hear that. Oh, you didn't? Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, here. Let me. Oh, did then. you guys hear it? Maybe. Uh, maybe just me. It might not. It may have been just yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Did they hear it? Okay. Oh, they heard, heard it. it. Okay. Okay. They heard it. Sorry, I didn't have it routed quite correctly. Oh, that's um, okay. I, I I heard it uh, when I played it here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, it's not, you're not going to play symphonies on it, but you no, can hear it. No. I mean, really, you know, as someone who's who has needed this, is uh, a little bit of music uh, is great, and that sounded fantastic. And then um, audiobooks is the other thing oh, that you yeah, just wanted yeah. to do really well, and that sounds fantastic. Uh, for that the idea of taking a phone call while still running the water and showering is absolutely <laughs> hilarious to me i can't believe it has a built-in microphone and the ability to take uh, i call. know it is now he he said that he couldn't find it on amazon uh, but i took a look and i think i did find it on amazon yeah, this, one, this looks exactly like it doesn't it look like it it's the, not the quite uh, the well, same made, price made frank is in chat does this look like it uh yeah. frank there is no way to make calls. You can just receive calls. Is, is yeah. Uh, true. Yeah, that looks about Built right. Built-in shell mic, built-in LEDs. I mean, that price, four ninety-five. Was yeah, what, well, this uh, one's a little Frank more. Said. Yeah, Matt, Matt says yes. Uh, Matt Frank says yes. Oh, this okay, yeah. Looks very much like it. And at nine mm -hmm. bucks, pretty close. Um. That's a great yeah. video, Frank. Thank it you. Was, it was very good. Very funny. Uh, yeah, really appreciated that video. That was great. Thanks for the... Uh, for, honestly, that's a good gadget. Everything about that was great. The uh, <laughs> the gadget, too. The presentation. So that's, I think that's our first in the shower yeah. live. Yeah. I got to say, the, good, uh, good, yeah, good um, communication skills, great video, great gadget, and also great shampoo technique. Uh, yes. So all those things, <laughs> exactly. I got to say, I approve. Exactly. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Let me just double check what this is. <laughs> Wait, what? Apparently, at some point, the Axe company, like Axe Body Spray, made a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Made a Axe wireless shower, shower speaker, which is quite crazy. Is that true? No, I don't know. Oh, this is just a different one, I think. I think I missed it. Yeah, this looks like doesn't have the LED lights in it. No, no yeah. And it's way pricey. <laughs> $12. $12 Never. for a speaker system? What? Never. Think we're uh, made of money here? <laughs> With that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't recommend people send in photos for their answers to the what the heck is it. it. This doesn't reveal what the heck it is because it's not what it is. But since uh, Don K had done such a neat job, I thought I would do it as the letter. So it, uh, he says, Dick, I think it is a stick down hook that is used to hold helium balloons while you write on them. And he had the photo there, Chad? I do. <laughs> oh, here it, here it is. Okay. Oh, it, it, it's, right on, it's right on the screen. Stick down hook to hold down helium balloons while they're written on. And there's a place in the center for the marker. I mean, and that is... <laughs> It that is so the funny. what the heck is it right there. This is yeah, right a photo there, shop. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And writing what me worry on the balloon. So please don't use photos for your answer, but I thought. This one was uh, clever Don, enough that it got yes, through it was, the filter. It was very, it, was very <laughs> it got through the filter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, exactly. but don't, don't bet on it. But this one was pretty yes, funny. Yes, yes. That's a good one. Dog. Oh, we forgot to mention. If you want to make a video, oh, true. Uh, you don't have to be in the shower. You can be fully dressed. <laughs> you don't um, have to be naked to record a video for the exactly. kids with. <laughs> but do the other things that Frank did. Shoot in landscape mode. Make sure we can hear you and make the video one to three minutes. Uh, you can be in it if you want. If you're shy. I don't think Frank is shy. 
Uh, you can just do voiceover and show the gadget. Or if you want, you can be in it like Frank was. A one to three minutes. Anything to do with a gadget. New, old, something you love, something you hated. I'll make a video, put it up on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. Click unlisted. And that way, only people with the URL will be able to see it and send that to us, okay? Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at oh. gizwiz.tv. Uh, one just came today for next week's show, but we will need one soon after. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Frank, send me your address and you'll get the current issue of MAD. And, and Frank also said that the song that was playing was Disco Suicide by Dickie D and Norm. So it was. Yes, uh, exa it's very funny. Uh, that's um, a good, good song. Someone sent me a thing and I said, you know, I used that on something and I got a strike from YouTube. Not a strike, <laughs> just said. Yeah, a warning. Um, they, they will, if there's any money involved, they will, uh, the publishers will get it. And the guy emailed me and said, well, you know, you're the copyright holder. <laughs> he sent me, <laughs> he sent me uh, a document that says uh, all lyrics and music on Disco Mad are by Norm Blagman and Dickie Bartolo. So anyway. <laughs> you got a strike. Wait, was it who, who got the strike? Was it you that got the strike? Uh, I, I got the strike a long time ago when I tried it. And and the guy said, you're, like, it's my you're music. the copyright holder. <laughs> Who knew? Who That's knew? Funny. That's very funny. Um, okay, hey, uh, I want to find out what the heck was it before we say thank you to our patrons. I'm a little going a little bit out of order because uh, it's the end of a of a dual month. What do we got? A bi month? What do you call it? Bi monthly? Yeah, yeah, bi monthly. The um, contest is bi monthly. And so we get to find out what the heck it was. Uh, uh, I'm, I scrolled way down. There it is. That That's the gadget. That's the gadget. I don't know. I have no idea. I do feel like that this is a 3M sticky pad and that this holds something. That is, co that but, is correct. The sticky pad part is correct. But that's as far as I got. That, that makes no sense past that. Okay. Um, so you can go back a okay. little higher. That's it. Uh-uh. Uh, 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 oh, more uh, up. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, yes, does it look familiar? It does! We yes, covered this, did didn't it, we? I did it I did it as a gadget like two years ago. <laughs> we talked about this gadget. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I do remember yeah. this now. It That's actually kind of what took me. I was like, wait a second. Did we talk? I was trying to rack my brain like, <laughs> what is this weird Mandela effect where I've seen this gadget before? What is going on? That is very funny. That is very yeah. funny. And only two people got it outright. No way. Yeah, they, there you go. There you go. Oh, this is a different version, but it yeah. works the same. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's a cable organizer with a 3M sticky to stick on to. Exactly. A, uh, you know, what they're showing is, is a uh, mixer, like a KitchenAid mixer. Yeah. So you can shorten the cord on the counter, <clears throat> or I used it for like uh, when I put the fan away. The cord was oh, always a yeah. pain in the neck. So you just wrap the cord on around that. On a box that. fan. Oh, and yeah. And then at the very center, that little clip is to hold the plug. And only two people got it? Only two people got it. Only two people understood yeah. that that was what that was. That's shocking, honestly. Considering that we showed it on the show. <laughs> yes. Um, but it doesn't matter who got it right. We like the funny and hilarious answers. Yes, so. we like the, the, the more. So the, uh, the, uh, one of my favorites, a saddle for a worm. <laughs> A wall shelf for hanging a fake handlebar mustache. Picnic table for small birds. You attach it to a branch on a tree. Um, three finger portable hand sander. Oh, three. Uh, you, yeah, that would work. That would yep. work. You show it upside down. Replacement mustache for those who have lost theirs. Dicky D uses it to trim his mustache. You stick your tongue through the hole and then snip. So, yeah, so like a trimmer. It's like a yeah, guide. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Newfangled Lazy W Branding Iron. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, and this is very funny. A rack you place on your shoulders behind your head oh. to carry buckets of water. I <laughs> On it's those like, hooks, yeah, it lo it kind of uh, looked like a um um an ox cart sort of like yes exactly thing a a exactly totally totally and, and, and then uh, Pizza Grew said mounted on a wall can hold a broom a mop or other long handled tools very clever uh, Becky sent it in a nose straightener <laughs> insert in your nose line up your ears I like that I like that one uh, and then De uh, Don K was the one that came with the photo we just uh, showed and then Dan has clipped to a fishing pole hang lures from the side hooks the flat areas for cutting bait and then no only one person said it it could be a hat and coat hook as, <laughs> as Joe said easy so, Easy. Yeah. Sometimes it's the easiest thing that gets you. Exactly. And this was so we, the uh, Mad Magazine they got. That, that's what they, they're they getting. That is the October Mad Magazine. The Alien Edition. edition. Alien. And then up top okay. is the brand new... Here's a new one. Uh, uh, um, this is it! The September October Mad uh, 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 uh. I have no idea, but Thanks. I mean, actually, no, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got that. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forgot. These are the. Yeah. Uh, I'll, give, I'll give the only hint I'll give you is I did not do this on the show. So that, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's good to know. Point. Honestly, that'll yeah. that'll help my <laughs> ego the next time. Yes. Yes, exactly. Um, these are uh, the those classic knee shields yeah uh well, it could be yeah could be. yeah this is a could sports be. i'm in all about the sports today no, in this you're, episode you're such a jock. and yeah. that is is you know they they play those uh on the the pucks sometimes they hit your knees you gotta keep them safe um so if you think you know what this is get a guess and over at gizwiz.biz six mad magazines for correct answers if you do know what this is but 12 mad magazines for funny clever or hilarious answers so get a guess and over at gizwiz.biz um hey i want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz thank you thank you thank you so much for supporting our show if you like the gizwiz like us please consider giving back over at giz at patreon.com slash gizwiz <laughs> or head on over to gizwiz.tv there's a patreon tab at the top of our website and you can uh, follow that to a big uh, banner that'll take you to patreon or a small little link that'll take you to paypal those are the two ways to support us uh, and thank you thank you thank you so much for your tips uh with uh i'm all out of order because i covered the what the heck is it first we go now let's talk about head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live just about every thursday 4 30 pacific 7 30 eastern time uh the website will just update with the live stream around that time so just head on over to gizwiz.tv that's also where you can watch the giz fizz by the way with diggity on wednesdays um, and uh, if you don't catch the show live, just catch it there after the fact at our website, gizwiz.tv, or on our YouTube page, a whole bunch of ways to watch. Uh, head on over to Dickie D's site, gizwiz.biz, for articles and links about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. And uh, that about wraps it up for us. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>